In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Pixu Max by Davoom. Now, Davoom makes a host of pixel art products that include picture frames as well as Bluetooth speakers that come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Now, the Pixu Max has the largest pixel density at 32 by 32, and if you're wanting something similar in size but cheaper with less pixels at 16 by 16, then you may want to check out the Pixu Frame. I recently saw the YouTube channel Top Spot 123 showcase that product, which is the main reason why I decided to purchase the Max. All right, let's open this up and see what we got. Okay, in this first box, we have some indoor and car mounting accessories. So you've got two suction cups. You've got a super long car adapter for your cigarette lighter. Essentially, this would plug in here and then your USB would plug to the unit. And we'll get into more of the car mounting instructions a little bit later. So let's take out the unit. And just a side note, this packaging is outstanding. Got a padded lid here. Here is the unit. Like we got some stickers, a manual. So here we've got a super long paracord USB-C cable, which is a very nice touch. We also have a kickstand that just plugs into the unit and allows it to stand like a picture frame. So here's the unit itself. Now this spot here is just a little bubble that's behind a screen protector. Go ahead and power it on. So it opens up with a clock screen and you can change that to whatever you would like. Very minimalistic. You've got kind of a power button with a little rocker function. You can go down and change things. Or you can go up and it'll give you your battery life. On the top here and on the bottom, this is where your suction cups would go for either indoor or in your car mounting. And this is your speaker for voice controls. What's really nice about this charge port is how they had it recessed. So when it is mounted somewhere, it doesn't affect any way by hanging down here. So the unit itself is seven by seven inches, roughly. It's thicker than a tablet, but still pretty low profile. It's got some weight to it. The screen brightness can be controlled by shaking your phone. And having tried that, I have found it to be quite responsive. It's also got a keyhole on the back that you could just hang a nail and hang it up like a picture frame. It has a 5,000 milliamp battery, so it will last around five to six hours depending on the settings, or you could just use the USB-C port. So let's just insert the kickstand here and set the unit down and we'll get into it a little bit more. Now these are just some preloaded stock animations that come with the unit, but the, the heart of this product is the Devoom app. That is where you're going to be downloading different things from the community, uploading pictures, importing pictures, customizing it to whatever you like. So it might be a good idea if this is a product that you want to download the app now and just mess around with it and see if it's something that you might be interested in. So here's a look at the app and it's definitely something that you're going to want to familiarize yourself with in order to get the most out of this product. Unfortunately, the instructions are only four pages long and they tell you nothing about adding, uploading, and editing pics and animations. I would say it probably took me around 15 to 20 minutes before I got the hang of it. So basically, when you find something that you like, you just click on it and almost instantly it shows up on the screen. Now after that, you can download it to your favorites or share it on other apps like Facebook and Twitter. And it seemed like anything I searched for, no matter how obscure, there seemed to be a pic or animation created by the community and uploaded to the website for that particular search. Trust me, if you search hard enough, you're gonna be able to find just about anything you can think of. Now, you may be thinking that the colors and these images may appear bland and washed out, but that's just the way that they recorded on my camera and I can assure you that the screen is extremely vivid and bright. You can also import a photo or GIF from your phone to the Pixu Max 
but keep in mind that it's going to convert it to 32 by 32 pixels, so there's going to be a loss in detail and resolution depending on the image. You can see here I uploaded a picture of my standard Poodle Max, and although the image is recognizable, there is a loss in detail. Here is my YouTube logo, and as you can see, the letters aren't quite the same as the picture. So what I would just do is go in there and edit each one of those to make them more readable. There are just so many things that you can do in this app, and due to time constraints, I am unable to cover the bulk of them in this video. But I just wanted to make it clear that what I'm showing you is just barely scratching the surface. You can even play a game of Tetris. Now, it isn't the most intuitive, but it is nice that they included it. Next, I wanted to create an image on the fly just to show you how easy it is. This only took me about two minutes with minimal effort, and I sped it up to around 15 seconds. But you can see with a little more time and patience, you could easily make something that could be considered a work of art. So getting back to the car applications, you'll see that I created some simple scrolling text that basically says, if you can read this, you're too close, and you could trigger that message with a keyword using Siri since the Google voice function is still in development. Now, living in the St. Louis area, I don't want to get murdered, so I would never display a message like that to another driver for fear of road rage. But I could see this used if, say, you were going to a sporting event and you wanted to display your team's logo or maybe your child's sports logo on a trip to a tournament. This could also work great for Uber and Lyft drivers so people can spot them easier. For me, since I've been a vendor at conventions, I could see this on my vendor table displaying my YouTube logo or something eye-catching to get people to come over and just start a conversation. Bottom line, with a product like this, you're basically only limited by your imagination and creativity. So that is a brief look at the Devoom Pixu Max. Now, this started off as a Kickstarter this past summer for $59, and sadly, I missed out on that deal. It is currently being sold on the Devoom website for $89, as well as AliExpress for $79. And I will leave links in the description for both of those sites if you are interested. So, is this a product that you need? No. Is it cool? Yes, absolutely. I'm gonna go on record and say it is one of the coolest pieces of tech that I have purchased in quite some time, and I'm gonna give it my highest recommendation, even at the full retail price of $89. If you can get around the poor instructions and really dive into the app, I can't imagine this product not bringing a smile to your face, whether you're into pixel art or not. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. And make sure you hit the bell and turn on notifications so you will know when I upload new content. I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching.